Alright, hey guys, Swansong here. Um, I'm gonna try playing Hyped's uh, UG Storm deck in a Constructed Gauntlet, just because I just got my ass handed to me by it. He did 225 damage to my Ancient, and I've never tried the deck, so I wanna do that too. Only two Annihilations. Why is there only two Annihilations? That makes me very concerned. Because, like, you need to draw that, right? Okay, I'm against Drill Ram, so I should have had the daggers here, actually. Uh, this might be very interesting to watch, because I've never played this deck, and it is uh, a bit complicated to pull off the combo when you haven't done it before, I think. But maybe it's possible, who knows. Kana in the last lane. That's not good. Right, so I'm gonna put Dro either to hide in Kana's lane or in lane one. I feel like Grant is probably favored against this deck. But I don't know for sure, it's just a feeling I have. So if I go lane one with Dro, then uh, Mm, tree kind of just kills her, but hmm. Okay, I have a plan. I'm gonna hide with Dro here, <coughs> and I get any cost with Zeus, and then he's gonna sap tree down to one health. At the next turn, I can just play a spell, and that will kill tree. And we do the Sanctum, because he doesn't have anything to stop it in this lane for sure. This was so broken when it silenced everything. And I want to do the at any cost now, because uh, I don't want Ogre to be hurt. So now we're both one hit point, and then next turn I can just cast like draw or something and then tree dies. Although I might need to go to the middle with Ogre. But that doesn't ruin the plan for drawing here, right? I don't think so. And draw is safe. Elite. We won't let Stone Hall down. Uh four man prey. Oh I Yes, I can't pray. I need the combo. I can't we pray. Sure Gotta get out of that Emperor mindset. He's gonna push me so hard everywhere. But I need to pass to kill Tree with the lightning. Before he puts on an item. Uh, I guess I buy a card. That's what this deck needs. And I go meet with Ogre, I guess. Doesn't make sense going there, he just gets one shot by those those guys. Alright, he goes to pair against Dro, that's quite nice I think. Thundergod, Foresight. Zeus will die, but at least I can draw and kill tree. Zap. How many I have two arcane assaults, okay. This might also be a slightly older version of the deck, but at least I have the gust to interrupt his ramping. Do I need to do something mid? No, I can just draw. Two unearthed. It's pretty nice to have them early. And I think we just play nothing here. Perfect. Joe is gonna survive. And I think we probably go to lane 1 with Kana and Tree. Or at least Kana. I don't know if we put I Tree there as well. The but I do need two of the same color in a lane to combo, so maybe it is a good idea. 
Right, he's hitting me here, so I can just unearth secrets in this lane. And he's also killing that, so he probably hits yeah, me here next round too. Get the cards as early as possible. Joe's dying. Hmm. I'm very worried whether I'm gonna survive or not. Long enough, that is. Uh, yeah, let's take a TP. Could come in handy. Okay. So the one lane he's ramping, I can annihilate. That's pretty good. And I have initiative already. Hmm, I can put Kana here. And I don't really need to do anything with the tree, so I can put him in the last lane. And even if he kills him, I don't mind, because he's gonna come back. Hmm, I'm, I'm a fan of this. I think this is going okay. If I can just draw enough cards. And multicast Thunder God's Wrath three times, like they do against me. Then I could kill everyone even though they have time. <laughs> mm, I really want to use the Ignite, but I also need initiative. Maybe I can do both. Because I have another Assault, right? And it does cycle. So maybe it's okay for me to do both. Where do I Ignite then? I guess I ignite the Kana lane, because then I can get a bigger prey. Fifteen seconds remaining. But I could also ignite here to kill these eventually. Install some more? No, I ignite here. Your world is about to Because I want to take tower damage in the last lane so I can get more cards. Sweet, sweet blink He's gonna blink dagger. away. Please blink to the middle. Oh no, okay. His initiative. I take initiative. Oh, I can even save tree a turn now. But then I... Yeah, I can save tree and play the unearthed. But I'm still not taking tower damage there. But it doesn't matter where I played it, because I wouldn't take tower damage in any lane this turn. Alright, he did that to kill Kana. Didn't even notice that, I was so focused on all the other lanes. Uh, we just do this immediately. Access 7 health. I put the ignite here. Not quite in Thunder God's range. So he could push a lot of damage if he dueled. Okay, he doesn't. Well, I think I save the tree. And do a tiny bit of ramp. And where do I put the secrets? I feel like this lane isn't the best one to get it in. Uh, he has two guys there, so maybe I just put them in the first lane. But I kind of want Droll Ranger in the first lane to gust him and interrupt him. And I also want to go for the first lane, but I think I'm going to get a card out of it like this. TP tree? Not yet. Not yet. Could have gotten me a card though. No, uh, not gonna buy the golden ticket. Sorry guys. TPs are budget blink daggers. So that's okay. Joe goes here so that if he ramps, I can silence him. And Zeus. I mean, Zeus doesn't really have anything to do right now, so he can just go into the middle and get a cloak, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry Remy, no ticket. But not this time. Not the first time I'm trying to play this deck and I'm against ramp. Right, do you ramp? I feel like I have no cards. 22 cards left, and he's 26. I almost drew nothing. And I don't have any of the ramp either. I have, have the incarnations, but I don't have ramp, and I don't have card draw. So I think I'm getting a little bit screwed over by NG. But that's alright. Springs in the middle. Okay, so he doesn't ramp. 
That's cool. I can just put a cloak on Rihanna then. I can use this. And uh kinda wanna put armor on her too, because she has minus two. So that if I need to use all the diabolic revelations, I don't kill her that quick. Oh, I got ramp. But I don't need it now, because I'm already at nine. Thunder God still doesn't kill anyone. Let's put a cloak on him as well. And put a sanctum here, so we have one in this lane too. And that's all we can really do. Huh. And we're not getting a card from this lane. Unless I TP Tree out, but Tree is killing that guy. Well, okay, we're getting a card. And getting our skulls beaten in. <laughs> I'm only four card draw ahead. And I'm playing the combo deck, like, come on. Did the guy who beat me have cunning plans and compels? Did you notice? Because this is an old version, so maybe someone made a better version. And this one doesn't have them. Okay, where do I need to go? What cards do I have? Uh, Thunder Gods can kill that guy now. Actually, at any cost, it's extreme to go to the last lane. We're gonna do like this. Because I can at any cost here to clear. And then Kana can go and stall the first lane with creeps, since I don't have an annihilation. Oh my god, he's gonna do a four-man time. <laughs> and I cannot stop him. Because Gust was nerfed, so I can't silence everything. Oh god. Four-man time of triumph incoming. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't use Prey on the weak, because I need to save it for the combo. Oh no. I can't stop this. Oh well, I guess I'll just draw then. I can start the line up into the combo actually. YOLO. If you're gonna do a four man time, I'm gonna go up into the combo. So now you have to decide. Okay, you wanna do it. Let's go. Let's go. This Diabolic Revelation is gonna have to do so much work for me. This guy, this thing has to draw me every card I need. Okay, sure. Come on! More card draw. I wish I had Ogre here, but I don't. I can use two more Diabolics without anything happening. Right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 from Prey on the Week. So I really need an Emissary, come on. Oh, I got it! Got an Emissary! I can do... Uh, well, screw doing the math, I'm just doing it. I can't draw anymore, so I'm just doing it. Prey! <laughs> Oh my god, 30 already? Oh, it's because Dro is here, right? Jesus Christ. Well, let's have another 30 damage. Might be able to take the Ancient next turn if I get there. Uh, and let's have an Emissary. I can't make any more creeps anyway, right? No, I can't. So I just do it. Boom! To the ancients. Sing. It just keeps going over here. It even does the sound twice. 104 damage. And we didn't even have a great combo. So next turn the ancient is gonna die. Probably. But... Yeah. And I'm gonna... Oh, yes. I think... Yeah, if I Thunder Gods and remove Bristle... That means he can't stop me from... A from uh, at any costing the last lane, and that means that I'm gonna win 
No, no, I, not even just force draw. I think I'm gonna win, uh, Remy, because really he hasn't killed any towers yet. And over here, I can just at any cost to wipe the lane, so nothing is gonna be here. I guess he can blink out. I didn't. I need to silence these guys actually. Oh, I should have done that earlier. But I need to silence them now. Ah, uh, he might be. Uh, wait, how much damage does he have? Eleven, fourteen. Yeah, it might be a draw now because I did a mistake. But I could have forced a win. No, you don't. No, because he can blink X to the third lane. If he doesn't blink X to the third lane, then we win, I think. But if he sees that he can blink X to the third lane, oh, he blinks him to the middle. Okay, still. Yeah. So now it's going to be a draw, unless I can block him next turn in this lane. There's a chance that I can do that. So at the start of the combo, I should have just used Gust on all the zeros so he couldn't use any blinks. But now there's a chance that he can still win. Uh, I guess we ignite here to get X low. Don't really know if that's going to do anything. Probably not. Uh, so, as it is, I'm only going to be able to use green spells here, but I can TP... No, Ogre's going to die, so I can't TP Ogre out. Yes, but the creeps are going to go here. If no, they're not, because Kana's dead. Uh, okay, let's just see what happens. Might be a draw, might be a draw, but we could have won. But it's our first game with this thing, so... It's just gonna kill Zeus here, I think. Yeah. Right. So we need to stop 9 damage, and he has 3 timed heroes, so I don't think that's possible. Unless I draw a Thunder God's Wrath and I can just... Minus 30. Yeah, it's gonna be a draw. Could have been a win. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Not, I guess the only chance is I get Thunder God's Wrath here. Oh! What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Disco. <laughs> Got a bit ahead of myself there. <laughs> um, yeah, I needed to wipe that, obviously. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, it's hard playing a combo deck for the first time. <laughs> Oops. At least we start with a foresight in hand now. And a secrets even. Mm, I guess the third lane will be where I'll get hit the most. Because Bristle the is gonna keep kill the creep. And Kana's in the first lane. But right, yeah, that last game is entirely on me. Oh, come on. Don't smash my honest secrets. It was going so well. Right, I think we just park draw in lane one, as usual. She's just gonna die everywhere else. And I want to develop the druid there. And I get a sanctum. He just used a smash, so what's the chance he has another one? I think it's quite low. My power only Let's take the risk. Okay. Bye bye, Joe, I guess. That is a good duel. Do I wait and foresight until Ogre comes down because of the chance to copy it? There's nothing I really need to play next turn, so I think I do wait for the Ogre. 
just to have the chance of getting some extra cards. And my tower is getting hit over here, so I can now unearth again. From beyond the veil of augury, I come bearing gifts. Level 29. These guys play a lot. Foresight would kill that creep. But by killing that creep, it makes it less likely that my tower is getting hit next round. Another unearthed. Okay, this could be really good if I can survive long enough. With all the draw I'm getting. Thinking we put Ogre mid. So that we have the option of annihilating there. Or annihilating the first lane even. Like, Annihilating Karna's lane is okay if there's two opposing heroes and they've been killing your creeps every round. Okay, Ogre only... Hopefully he's not matched up with Axe. <laughs> wow. The two hardest hitting guys arrow into Ogre. Right. I have initiative. I want to cast it with Ogre. But well, that's quite annoying, because I don't have a blue hero coming down for the Annihilation turn. I can chill. Okay, I'm gonna... Whoa. Is he going to enough magic here? Mm, maybe. Then I just cast it with Zeus. It's a bit weird to take initiative there, unless he's going for enough magic. I rise yeah, okay, yes. So, I can't wait two turns for Ogre now. But it's still fine, because I didn't want to cast anything else. Uh, full heal... Mm, I don't know, I'll take it to have it. I could annihilate lane 1. But then I would need to put both my guys there. I kind of don't want to put anything across from Bristle. Maybe I just put Dro in the middle, because it's easy to kill Dro, and then the, the lane will be clear for the next turn. Or I can put everything here and just annihilate the last lane and annihilate the middle the turn after. Hmm, how do you play this deck? How do people play this deck? 15 seconds remaining. How much mana? I can't Thunder Gods. Mm, if I put it there, I'm not gonna get a card. Five seconds I'm gonna put Dro in here. Hopefully she blocks a little bit. And... Uh, and... Uh, and dies. Wow! <laughs> so, <laughs> the last round, I got the absolute worst possible combination of placement and arrows in front of this guy and the axe curving, and now I get the worst combination the with Dro being in front of the normal creep and nothing else. Is this real life? At any cost here, it could actually be good. Other than the fact that it kills uh, a lot of my own stuff. So it wipes everything apart from that guy. And my stuff lives. Do I need it anywhere else? Ah, we do it. Why not? You have no idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I know I can't annihilate with green. I'm talking about when when Hogar Magi comes back from for next turn, right? Because like, if I just wanted to annihilate, this placement would be great. But uh, it is not so. Igniting the middle would save one damage. But igniting in the Kana lane would give me more creeps for when I do the combo. Still, I think I mainly just need to survive. So we'll put the ignite in the middle. You all will scream. And I can put another unearthed secret somewhere. I think I'll put... No, we'll put it in the last lane. Because we're going to ignite here, so nothing will be hit here next turn. 
and he still might hit me in the last lane. So we'll do that. We can also make a Roseleaf Druid, which won't quite die, because Beastmaster only has 5 attack. Mm, so we can do the Druid. And we're gonna get a uh, third mana. Vester of the Tyrant. Fantastic. At least he has low health, so that when I combo I can remove him with Thunder Gods, if I need to. And we secret the last lane. And do I heal Dro? Uh, not Dro, Kana. I guess I do. Nice. 25, 28. Haven't drawn that much yet, but maybe we'll get there. Okay, that's interesting. He could have killed Tree. But I guess he's planning on killing him next turn instead. He never should have come here. Could develop a druid here. That could also signal to him that I'm thinking about comboing in this lane. So maybe by doing the druid, he is going to think that I'm a threat here, and then maybe duel down Dro, so that I get a clean Annihilation next turn. Or maybe he's not, and maybe I would actually combo here. Doesn't take the bait. Nothing to... well, I could Annihilate, but... hardly think that's worth it. Well, okay. That's fine, like two more damage in the lane that I'm giving up, doesn't matter. There's the quorum, that's pretty good. Uh, do I need an armor? I mean, I guess, but I'd rather have a heal. I don't want to kill my own dro. And since Zeus died... Can I block enough damage in the last lane? And then just annihilate next turn? I just put a mid. I put a mid. I'm just giving up the last lane and then I'll try and keep the other two more healthy. Instead. Because if I get all the lanes a bit too low then it's going to be near impossible because of time just going From through. Okay, so I am combo ready. But I need some more cards. Now, I need to keep this guy alive to do the combo. Right now, I could Incarnation and I could do this to do a lot of damage to myself. Draw some more stuff and then I could Prey on the Weak and Quorum, so we're kind of ready for it. Thunder Gods kills... well, that guy comes back, so I don't want to do it this turn. But Thunder Gods also kills Axe unless he puts items on. Gust, Gust, Stars Lion, Emissary, Annihilation. I don't think I want to use any of my cards here. I need them all for the combo next turn. Oh, I can start. I could do it this turn. Do I do it this turn? Uh, okay, we do it here. Make a fitting sacrifice to the dire. It's so weird the stuff you have to think about with this combo. But uh yeah, we have the stuff for it. So I play the quorum first, because then it also hits the quorum and I'm gonna make more hounds. And I put her over here so that they're not next to each other. And then I hope I draw some really good stuff. Come on. Good stuff. Another quorum. Another prey. Two preys. 
Oh, the Quorum doesn't take damage. And I can still annihilate here, but I don't have initiative. Hmm. Okay. The weak must be out. Do I need to use the other prey on the weak? I mean, I might as well. He has that for three tower armor, but with two quorums, it goes grows out of control very quickly. Blood so I think we just go for the ancient. Does it only make three? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it makes six. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I make the next quorum before I click that. So normally, I think the vesture would be a big problem. But since I have two quorums, it's quickly gonna get above the three damage. So I think I should be able to take the ancient next turn anyway. Don't you guys think? 102, then he gets three armor, but then I can do double quorum again. <laughs> nice! Didn't get to hit the tower, but I did it! And I almost didn't do the combo there, because I didn't quite see it. Huh. Nice. <laughs> Why the three dots, Rummy? Okay, dot dot dot. Yeah, <laughs> apparently it works. <laughs> but I think uh, you need some experience with this deck to play it, probably, like... And I think maybe you need to change some of the things. I'm gonna try and see if I can find out what the version the guy in Wii Play Agility played, because Stormlike played this. He had the same heroes, let me see. Hmm. Okay, he has 41 cards. How many do we have? We only have 40, so he has something else. He also has two... Okay, that's the same, that's the same. Oh, it's actually exactly the same list, uh, except he has three emissaries instead of two. And he has uh, a bit of a different item deck as well. He doesn't have any leather armor. He has three Reftel rings, a maul, two Jasper daggers, one cloak, and two blinks. So I guess we can update it a little bit after, but it's still pretty much the same. Mon oh, swims mono blue. Okay, this is gonna be very tough. I need a lot of gusts here. Playing this one against Mono Blue, Jesus. My brain isn't big enough for this. Do I draw now? I mean, you kind of want to draw, but you also kind of want to wait with this for the pr for the combo, right? But there's two more, so I think I draw. I think I draw. So I'm gonna get to more of them later, hopefully. Oh, this guy recognizes me. <laughs> Someone wrote to me, uh, not playing Meepo anymore in the in-game system. Okay, I guess I couldn't write anything there. Oh, good. Unearthed lane one. See, has Kana there. Um, I either have to put Dro into lane one stall him a little bit, or in the middle. I think I actually put her lane 1 just to stall him. Because lane 1 is actually the safest place for my draw. Yeah, people just copied Swim's deck, I think, and played him. I also copied the guy who plays uh, Lodestone Demolition to try and play his deck later, but I haven't gotten to it yet. 
but it's really really nice to see that uh, that a lot of the pros or good people are using a lot of different cards. Time to get but anyway, this lane What's is actually the safest for Drow. No. Because this is the one lane where he's not going to annihilate or wipe me. And there's another Diabolic already. Um, now here he might want to wipe me, so I don't really, really don't want to do anything here. It's a pretty good at any cost. Don't want to make it better for him. So the thing against Mono Blue is that it's going to be hard to take his Ancient because the turn after he's going to have an Annihilation ready. Okay, he stalls with that. I think I still save my praise for the combo. And yeah, this is fine too. He can't do anything with four mana that would that wouldn't also kill him. We will cast down our enemies. Two sanctum slain one. Okay. Uh, Stonehold cloak will be very nice. Do I need a heal? Yeah, that would be nice too. I have two low heroes. So I kind of want to put Ogre into lane 1 and give him the cloak and let Dro die. Because uh, then Dro dies and when she dies I can annihilate without her in the lane and she comes back faster. And with a cloak, Ogre might even get to cast at any cost later without dying, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not quite ready to combo yet. So let's just cloak him. That's a good question. Let's now. I could gust them, but I'm gonna wait till I combo. I have a stars align. So right now... I just... I need a Sanctum first, because I need to silence him first. That's a good swap. He wants his ogre to die, so that he can redeploy him. Um, I can't do anything about it, not right now. Can I save his ogre? No, that's just gonna be half. Yeah, that'll just have to be it. Uh, the other lanes are looking fine, and I'm still high on health, but it's be beginning to hurt a little bit here. One, two, three, four. I could block him with the wolves, but I really want them for the combo. And since I have two of these, I could... Like, maybe the way to win against Mono Blue is to combo Ooh, twice rather than kill the Ancient. No, he saves him. Bubble. I didn't expect that, but I think that's helpful for me. Because that means he doesn't have a guy coming back in two turns. Okay, we just draw here. Oh, and we get another draw, nice. I'll kill all of you. And we got the incarnation. Where was that lane one? Is it gonna upkeep kill? Okay, draw is an upkeep kill now. If I cast the Diabolic Revelation now, <laughs> I kill myself. But I also kill Dro, so she's not an upkeep kill. But I also kill Tree. Hmm. What if I kill my guys now, and then annihilate him here, and then he only has two heroes that he must blink, because otherwise... Okay, this is either really genius, or really freaking stupid. So I'm killing three of my own heroes with this spell. But, uh... Let's just call it genius. Is there a whoops? I'll do this. I'm gonna trick him. So many regrets. Hope he didn't see that... Uh, well, let him think that I didn't know that I was killing the other guys. 
Now, if just I draw a sanctum, that means I'm good to go. Because with the sanctum, I can silence him. And then I can uh, stars align, restore, and incarnation. He takes initiative, though. That means he can kill my ogre here with initiative. Yeah, he, he believes me, it seems like. Maybe I put Zeus here just because I really need to annihilate the lane. And if he just... he could kill... wait, he doesn't have Skywrath, so he must use... And Luna's dead. He has to use Eclipse to do it. I can put that guy there. Put Zeus in the last lane to take initiative. Genius or really stupid? Should I put him in the first lane, guys? Am I scared of, of him killing Ogre? I think his Eclipse has five charges, so he could kill for sure. I think I need Zeus here. I think I need Zeus here. Ah, uh, I want to make sure. I really want to make sure he can't kill my guys. And stop the annihilation. It's gonna be a two for two, but unless he has a blink dagger, which he might, by the way. Unless he has a blink dagger, then he can't do anything about it next turn. And I also have two Thunder Gods, so if it happens, all his heroes are dying. No! No, 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 no. He saw it. He figured out my plan. Damn it. Well, what do I do now then? I don't want to annihilate this lane now. I guess I just draw. Zeus is gonna die. I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> now that I'm not so okay with. But hey, what can you do? The weak must be like, it's hard enough playing against Mono Blue with a normal deck. Try doing it with this stuff. So many cards, but no Aghanim Sanctum. Gonna have seven mana. But I need the Sanctum, because otherwise I can't silence him before I use the Incarnation. And if I don't silence him first, he's just gonna kill everything. Absolutely need the Sanctum. How many cards left? Sixteen and three Sanctums. I should get one soon, statistically speaking. And I can spread hey, out my heroes, so I have two pairs for next round. He already used the Jasper. So maybe if he doesn't put Ogre in lane one and I draw the Sanctum, maybe I can make it happen. But he has initiative, so... <laughs> I can't make it happen. Not in lane one. In the middle, they're next to each other. Card is nice. In the middle, his heroes are next to each other. So that means one gust will silence both. And they're also going to be next to each other there. It's his initiative. So I think... Um, both leaf on Earth stars. He gets to do something first, and he might just annihilate it if I go there with any heroes. He can also double... Did he use any Thunder Gods yet? No, he can also double Thunder Gods. Uh, I don't think it does anything putting Drow in the last lane. We'll do it like this. Who 
keep it over there. So no combo in that lane. Because Gust only works on the neighbors now. I got the Sanctum. We're unstoppable. And I got Arcane Assault, so I just need to take initiative for the middle. And if I can do that, I can combo in the middle. But that's still only one tower. Okay. But that... <laughs> multicast. Why does people who play Thunder God against me always multicast it? Jesus Christ. If you don't think about it, yeah, I have to. And enemy how much health does he have? 9 and 11. I have to annihilate this lane. He's gonna kill me with Thunder Gods if I don't. But now he has initiative. So, at least Thunder Gods doesn't kill me, but I have a feeling he's just gonna Eclipse here. He doesn't have that many cards though. Maybe he doesn't have Eclipse. I'm 10 cards ahead of him, that's pretty good. Come on, don't Eclipse me. Don't kill my guys. Let me silence you. Yes! It's happening! It's happening, guys! Silence! You don't look so good. Hype! And stars align! Surprises are there. Pleasant surprises, more so. And thanks, um. This is just a taste of what the dire can give you. And restore. And we have so many cards. And incarnation. Stars have aligned. And now the moon rises. And yeah, rip indeed. Uh, I don't know, on earth there, why not? The forest calls to the tune. Her protectors. Ignite. Ignite kills Zeus. Without needing to Thunder God. But how... I still need to kill her. And he has no heroes coming in. I cannot... Like, this is all good and fine, but I can't damage my own creeps in any way. So I can't get good praise on the weak. Mm, do I use an Arcane Assault for... I think I have to use Arcane Assault just to draw. And I have to kill all his heroes anyway. And all his heroes are gonna die, so... Um Right, I'm going all in cuz I'm killing all his guys. Stars have aligned, and so I just need to play everything and then hopefully uh I believe the dire may have need of our services. Uh yeah, I, do, I think I save these, because maybe I draw the Diabolic. Because they're like, only more stuff is going to take damage anyway, right? Yeah, and this should be enough to take the first tower. So if I get amazing draws next turn, I might even be able to use at any cost to damage the guys. Yeah, yeah, next turn I can use at any cost to damage my creeps, and then do all these, and then do two ticks again. No Alright, wipe this whole team, so I think I think Death we're good. For you. But I can't do anything else. Ah. No, he healed her. Damn it! I have to at any cost now then. But that's okay, oh, people aren't gonna on. die. Good. He's dead. That means I can try and go for a ton of damage next turn. Uh, what? This deck is so fun when it works. 41 gold, okay. Click all the buy buttons. 
Uh, let's just go mid. We're gonna get four cards. And if one of them is Diabolic Revelation, this is gonna be... Well, maybe I don't even need them to be... It would help a little bit, though. <laughs> okay. That's not fun cards. But, uh... Yeah, at least I can pray on the weak. So we can get some extra damage. Do we get more by... No, we can't. Never mind, we can't. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get as much, much damage as the guy who beat us did. But we're gonna get a lot. Oh, we're gonna get more. He had 225. We're gonna get like 250. 241, alright. GG. <laughs> nice. One hit damage, yeah, you bet. Tide of Flesh. I haven't seen Tide of Flesh before. And skill 58. Woohoo! We're getting up there. <laughs> the games are quite long with this, just like Meepo Magic, though. I usually play games with really... G games with really long decks. <laughs> wow. Decks with really long games. Okay, ramp again. That's a bit more straightforward. I really don't like playing against Mono Blue, because you have to think so much. <laughs> At least not if I'm also playing a combo deck, because it gets so, so tricky navigating around him. Uh, okay. Not the best of starting hands. But we'll just have to work with it. Pass, pass, pass. We must be relentless. Missed into lane one, okay. I think I think later on I'm gonna swap Ogre and Zeus because um if Zeus comes down instead of Ogre, then you have a more powerful at any cost because he does the one extra damage. And he's gonna put Tree here for sure, so I think I'm gonna put Dro here. I could also think about putting Dro in the last lane, but I don't want to put two green in the same. Oh, safe. That's pretty good. Stars line, gust. Mm, yeah, kind of gonna die. Do I do the druid here? What do I do with the druid in the last lane? The druid will keep on. Mm, where would I want to combo? Like here, I have to fight all this stuff, so I'd much rather annihilate this lane at some point and then combo in the last one, or maybe even this one after that. So I think we save the druid a little bit. Oh, come on. That means he has another stars align. So if I just gust him now... Okay, I have two options. I can gust him now to stop the second stars align, or I can do nothing to let him get up to eight, but then I have to guess which one he's going for. But he's probably going for time, so we're going for the all-in play here. He's gonna do another Gust now, or another Stars Align now, and then I'm gonna silence Legion Commander. I don't think so. And now he's gonna play an Emissary and- FUCK! <laughs> no! Every time! Every damn time! Damn it! 
Why do they always have this guy when I silence the red guy? Like, I know... <sighs> this happened when I was playing uh, with Riggs as well. I silenced the red guy and then he just did a quorum. Why would he have a quorum? Statistically, they would have the time, because most people... Or most players, when they play ramp, if they have to cut times or quorums, they usually cut the quorums. But maybe he's running three. I took the 50-50, and I didn't win it. So, this is not gonna go very well, I feel like. But, I only had one gust, so I feel like I had to do that anyway. It's my initiative. Can I kill anything with at any cost? No, not really. Not really. Um, guess I need to stall this lane now until I get the annihilation. I still think I had to go for that play because I only had one silence, and I knew he had another stars align. So if I silenced him then, so he couldn't stars align again, next round he would still be able to do it. Or well, actually not this round, but the, the round after this one. Because then he would be at 6 mana and he could just do it again. And I would have to rely on drawing another Gust to stop it. So I think it's just a risk that I had to take. It was still the correct play, I just guessed wrong on which card he had. <laughs> Sanctum here. Oh, this is so hard. Oh. Gonna save the Sanctum until I do the actual combo, I think. There's no reason to use it now. But I need to use this to cycle and get an Annihilation. Because if I don't get an Annihilation, I'm just done for. For some reason I only have two in the deck. Tree's gonna die anyway, but if I cast Diabolic, then I take eight more damage to the tower. But there's a chance I get the Annihilation. But I also give up initiative. Uh, he has so much damage there, I need it. Absolutely need it. Okay, multicasting it. That's good. That is good. I don't know why there's only two Annihilations in this deck. I think oh, it's much better to swap out and at any cost for an Annihilation. I wonder if that's also the case in... yeah. See, I got the Annihilation, so it paid off, but I didn't get the initiative, so... And I... I need to annihilate this lane anyway. And I don't have a blink or TP. Right. 52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 54 plus 8 times 2. That's 60, 70. Yeah, he only has 70 damage. It's not lethal yet. He has lethal here, so I need to go here. So I need to annihilate this lane, and while doing that, I need to get another annihilation drawn so that I can annihilate the first lane the round after and hope that he can't duel me down before I use it. And he has not used any duels yet. But at least he only has four cards. Did I do the math? Oh, I forgot the mist. But he's... Okay, <laughs> GG. <laughs> Famous last words. Exactly, Disco. <laughs> Rip. But I had to guess. I had to guess on one of them, right? Because if I didn't... If I just used it, he would have just comboed this turn, and I still didn't have stuff to stop it, so... I feel like I had to guess. So... I guess that's that. Uh, gonna stop 